Hey everybody, this is Max Olson with Adjuster TV. We're here in Beaufort, South Carolina on the edge, the periphery of Hurricane Dorian, which is now a strong Category 2, potentially approaching Category 3. We'll talk about that here in a bit. But before we get into this update, I just want to ask if anybody has the means to consider a donation to the victims of Dorian, all the damage it has caused thus far in the Bahamas, to make a small $10 donation, please consider texting Dorian to 90999. That would really help out those people, start the recovery effort, help those victims out immensely. Just a small donation, guys. All right, once again, we are here in Beaufort, South Carolina. We're out on a dock right here. That's why you can see everything moving up and down. And we're just getting these rain bands coming ashore We've been throughout town today though and we've seen residents taking their final precautions, putting up plywood, evacuating, and it, it's actually been pretty much a ghost town, which is a good thing to see. Hurricane Dorian is slowly making its way north and is going to make that northeasterly turn later this evening overnight. And we are going to be following it. We're going to be heading northeast here towards Charleston and potentially even up towards Myrtle Beach and Wilmington, North Carolina at the furthest northeast position. But I tell you what, guys, it is about to get nasty here over the next 12 to 18 hours. We could potentially see landfall of a major hurricane. We're going to see conditions deteriorating and it's already been kind of hit or miss so far. We've been seeing tropical storm force winds. We've seen branches knocked over. We've seen some signs knocked over. Typical stuff with this type of wind speed. However, it's only gonna get worse from there and we're gonna be out covering it. So let's go take a look at the computer, check out the satellite, check out the radar, see what's going on. All right, so we're looking at satellite here and we can see a relatively impressive storm actually compared to this time yesterday. Uh, there was a lot of dry air intrusion, the storm was looking ragged and now it's looking pretty symmetrical and you can see these darker reds, blacks and whites. Those are very cool tops to thunderstorms, meaning Meaning they're rising a lot higher, they're bubbling, they're circulating towards the center point, and essentially that just means the storm is organizing and attempting to strengthen. Hurricane Dorian is currently a strong Category 2 storm just on the brink of Category 3, and the National Hurricane Center has mentioned the possibility of it strengthening back to a major hurricane in the next 12 to 24 hours, and that would most likely be somewhere between Charleston and Wilmington. So let's take a look at radar here and we can once again see that nice symmetrical eye with the eye wall surrounding it and it is just slowly drifting its way north we can see Charleston here and we're in Beaufort so we're just on the edge of this precipitation we're gonna start making our way north and east our intercept point is going to be somewhere in this general vicinity it'll be uh, you know determined once it's getting a little closer to land tomorrow morning potentially very early and we will do our best to keep you updated here. Next update is likely gonna be in uh, the worst conditions, so we will let you know how bad it gets, and stay tuned to Adjust Your TV to see all that. Also, if you live on the East Coast, pay attention to your local news outlets and the National Hurricane Center for the updates that they're going to be providing. And if you're interested in learning just what an independent adjuster is, visit adjustertv.com. Thanks everybody, have a great night.